Mourning the loss of a man described as a true patriot. The Susulu family dedicated much of their lives to the struggle against apartheid. And during Zwelake's final goodbye, they remembered the hard times when the family got to see very little of each other. Like our parents before him, Zwelake did what history demanded of him and reminds us of our duty to do the same, to respond to the challenges of our times and to be men and women who create events that will change the course of our collective history for the better. Coming out to pay their last respects, old comrades took comfort in the knowledge that Zwelake had left a lasting legacy. It's about courage and standing up for what you know to be true and doing your best because nobody can ever ask of you to do more than your own best. Zelaka did that, did it very well as a journalist and when he became an executive at the SABC, changed it and when he went into business, became a very successful businessman without any corruption stories around him. He was a real good South African that we can all emulate. It was a moment to put politics aside and reflect. We have laid a good foundation in the past 18 years. But the struggle continues against poverty, inequality, and unemployment. That struggle calls for supreme loyalty to the movement and the country. A man who was raised at the knee of not only Walter Susulu, but O.R. Tambo and Nelson Mandela as well, will be remembered for not seeking the glory of powerful positions. Perhaps a lesson for our current political leadership. Hajra Omaji, Johannesburg.